Since the last weekend in Valencia, the OK Junior field have stepped up the attack in the Czech Republic and dealt with higher tyre degradation and tough elevation changes throughout. The battles have been physical, the tensions have been high, but it's finally time for the winner to emerge. Only 36 of the 77 entrants have made it to the final. And the man to beat is Oleksandr Bondarev from Ukraine, who has won every race he started so far this weekend. Britain's Lewis Werrell has been his closest opposition since qualifying and will never surrender the fight. There are outside challenges from Timur Ramakas, who won in Spain, Dries van Langendonk, who has switched to Forza Racing, and the Parallel pair of Zach Drummond and Christian Castoya, provided they can keep up with the front row men. At the start, Bondarev made a good launch ahead of Ramakas and Werrell to head the pack up the hill for the first time while Drummond passed Van Langendonk for fourth. But squeezing 36 hungry young racers into the first few corners at the steel ring isn't easy, and the two that were caught out in the concertina effect at the start were Elliot Kaczynski and Salim Hanna, with both drivers robbed of a chance to fight for the podium. Hanna did his best to recover, even removing Kaczynski's cart from his own. He would eventually rejoin to finish at the back, whilst Kaczynski wouldn't restart at all. Drummond was the first of the front runners to move forward as he battled with the Belgian Thibaut Ramakers, but it was clear that the winner in Spain wasn't going to make it easy. But Drummond didn't back down and the Paralin driver challenged again out of the compression and he moved into third place, unlocking the potential he has demonstrated all season long. At the front of the race, the titanic grudge match began between Bondarev and Werrell as the two racers traded sector times and fastest laps for the whole race in the bid to make their opponent make a mistake. Kian Fardin and Maria Nito were locked in a sensational scrap with Kit Malofsky and Mies Huben, and despite their proximity, they stayed on track. But sadly, the two Sodi teammates, Filippo Sala and Scott Marsh, were unable to avoid contact, and both retired from the race, making for an uneasy trip back to the team's awning. Werrell was trying every single move he could think of to pass Bondarev, but still he wouldn't falter. They were starting to pull clear of the battle for third, meaning that Drummond, Ramakers, Van Langendorf and the two Paralins of Jack Eilif and Christian Kostoya would just have to do their best to keep up. With six laps to go, Werrell made his first major attempt to pass Bondarev, and he just wasn't close enough. Once again, there was the ominous threat of rain in the air, and as the mechanics tried to anticipate the conditions, would it be enough to unsettle the leaders? Lap after lap, Werrell tried to find the gap to pass the Kart Republic, but try as he might, there was just no room. On the final lap, he rolled the dice at the top of the hill and just couldn't draw level enough to commit to the pass. He avoided the accident, but settled for second place. So after a nail-biting duel to the flag, it was Ukraine's Oleksandr Bondarev who stormed to the win in every single race he started. A year ago, he had been in a hospital bed with potentially career-ending injuries. But in 2023, the Phoenix has bounced back to challenge for the European crowd in a fairy tale that just keeps getting better. Drummond would remain in third position with Ramakers ahead of Van Langendonk, Eilif and Kostoya. Tiziana Monza would finish eighth ahead of Scott Lindblom and Kian Fardin. As Drummond and Werrell earned valiant places on the podium, there would be tears of joy and redemption on the rostrum for Oleksandr Bondarev, who has had such an emotional journey to reach his first win. The championship battle is now taking shape, with our podium finishers and Tiwa Ramakas all in contention. And after such a great race, one thing is for certain, the steel ring party will go on all the way to Denmark. Yeah, today was quite difficult. The, 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 in the warm-up, we already knew we were quite fast and we had a good, good chance for the day. Then the super heat, I had a lot of pressure from Zach, but I managed to finish uh, P1. It was a 13 lap race. And then the final, a really long race, 221 laps, but I, I managed to stay in front. Uh, Lewis was behind me for most of the race, so I, I had to uh, place the car in the middle of the circuit at some point. But yeah, managed to stay in front and I'm very happy. Started second for the final. Um, 
slotted into third on the start behind uh, Alexander and Thibault and then I overtook Thibault and me and uh, Alexander, we got a gap and then tried to go for him on like lap 12, I think. Uh, I didn't, it didn't work and then, yeah, still out at the whole race. Well, we know we've been fast throughout the year, so I didn't see why I can't do it again. And I'd like to thank my team for this weekend, everyone who supported me. Um, in the final, I, I started P5, didn't have the greatest of starts. I uh, went round outside of Dries on the first corner. And then on lap five or six, uh, went for an overtake on Thibaut, who is very fast. Um, and then after that, I managed the tyres to try and get the best in the end. And then Thibaut was right in my way for the whole race, so it was very difficult to keep in front of him. But managing my tyres really helped me towards the end of the race. I didn't have to defend too much in the last lap. The race uh, completely from the qualifying until the last lap in the final is a really, really tough in this track. Very difficult technical track. No chance to make a little mistake. And that is the key probably of uh, Sasha in the final because you really drive uh, without any mistake. That is the key to win in this track. I think that the Czech flag in Cremona will decide which one will be the champion. It will be tough for Denmark in the next one, but even Cremona.